Let's now demonstrate how to use Apple Loops in our project. This is the project we've given you on week one. In this example, we want to add a tambourine to get a bit of a feel and to bring a bit of a live feel using percussion. So I'm going to use my Apple Loops here and I'm looking for tambourine loop. So clicking tambourine until now it's easy. Let's play our track. Now you can select some tambourine and you can preview your loops to see how they fit within your project. If you want to hear your loop a little bit louder, Sort of loop you were on, but I find this one a little bit loose. Let's try this one. Yeah, this one is a lot like tighter. Quite happy with that loop actually. So we're going to select that loop. To bring it into the project, all you need to do is take the loop and drag it to, to your desired location. I don't mind, I'm going to bring it into bar 9, for example. Here it is, straight away here. You might want to rename it here. Here we are. Let's have a listen to it now in context. Cycle here. We can actually hide our media now to have a bit more space. works pretty well. However, let's zoom now. As you can see at the moment we've got a two bar loops. However, you notice the loop has an accent on the first beat. One, two, three, four, marking each beat. However, I would like this beat to play on beat two and four instead of on the one. So you could move it slightly. Let's have a listen now. Okay, now we're going to edit it a little bit more because you see it's cut, it cuts out. So you can simply do that here. And I'm going to use only one bar loop for that purpose. In order to extend this, we could simply holding the alternate key and drag it along and now we have two bars. Another useful function in Logic is the loop tool. Notice here, if I bring my cursor at the bottom of the region, it allows me to drag it and make it longer. However, if I bring my cursor at the top of the regions, you see here, the loop tool appears. By dragging it, it now creates an exact copy. It loops literally this, this one bar for as long as you want. So you could have it for only a bar and a half, two bar, three bars, etc, etc. This is a very nice way to create an arrangement very quickly. Now, what you have in reality is only a one bar loop which is repeated over and over again without having to copy it. If we go back at the beginning of our arrangement, a little bit further, a little bit before, sorry, taking off the cycle, have a listen. Let's turn the tambourine down a little bit. Creating a break here, 
and now we could copy this whole thing again starting here for example and you see here this live element brings a lot more life and uh, adds a lot to the groove <laughs> 